Hi my friends, welcome to our favorite channel. Here we will get to know lots of cool and amazing vehicles and be educational for friends. Keep following my storyline in this content. Hi friends, look at the vehicle full of cool mud. The tractor and truck are running. Come on, follow our adventure on this YouTube channel. This vehicle will transport goods to our destination. I don't know what the road is like. Wow, the road is bumpy. There are also cool obstacles. Enjoy watching. Don't forget to subscribe and keep watching my channel and keep supporting this channel so that it grows quickly. See you. Thank you for watching my simple YouTube channel. I hope you enjoy my educational channel. Thank you very much. I hope you are always healthy. We will meet again in the next content. Thank you very much. Hi my friends, welcome to our favorite channel. Here we will get to know lots of cool and amazing vehicles and be educational for friends. Keep following my storyline in this content. Asphalt roads are still a popular choice in various areas. Paved roads have many advantages, including making the road surface smoother, making driving easier, and improving the psychology of road users. However, asphalt roads often wear out quickly and require a lot of maintenance. Moreover, because it is paved. We often experience traffic jams on the road. But did you know that the paved road stages are not what you imagine? When paving a road, there are several processes that cannot be skipped. But it turns out the process is complicated. The steps for paving a mapping is the initial phase of many phases of road construction. Mapping is carried out by measuring the width of the road, the nature of the soil, and determining the coordinates of the road before it is paved. The initial stage of road paving is important because it determines the amount of asphalt material used after mapping. The next step before paving the road is cleaning. At this stage, the road is shaped. Soft road spots are minimized, removing debris around the road. Stripping process. This phase is known as road and embankment construction. Before paving the road, cut the soil to the desired shape at the height of the road. At this stage, Use a theodolite meter to measure the height in this way. The road can be paved according to the planned heights, corners and turns, soil compaction process. After the soil is cut and then backfilled, in this process the soil will be compacted. 
This process is also known as the subgrade process. Subgrade is defined as the lower subgrade before the road pavement layer. Road asphalting can be done with backfill or other soil that is free from grass or rubbish. After that, the road will be paved with the help of tools such as bulldozers or roller vibrators. Undercoating process. Subbase course is the process of covering compacted soil with limestone. This process is a very crucial stage of road asphalting as a water absorption layer. Strengthening the road asphalt and reducing the layer above it, upper foundation process. This process is still related to road pavement. This layer is designed to provide full road bearing capacity. The road surface foundation also functions as a cushion for the asphalt road surface. The method for making the top foundation is the same as the previous bottom foundation layer. In other words, spread the material. The material used is a mixture of crushed stone or sand. In a ratio of 7 to 3, once the surface of the material is level, use an air compressor to spray the layer with primer, so that the aggregate material layer is attacked by a combination of weather conditions. Aggregate material before asphalt and provides a cohesive force between the base layer and asphalt. Mixture. Water the primer while leveling the soil with a tire roller hot mixing process. This process is a very important process in road asphalting. This method is coating using a TB type asphalt or asphalt treatment base. Before the coating process, the dust layer is removed with an air compressor and then the ATB is bonded with hot mix asphalt. This process is called cast tack coat.